I had gotten tired of nickel and diming kinds of fundraising and begging for programs. And so my point was that women had to have the imagination and the courage to do something really big and make a really big statement. Douglas was raising money from its own alums, and Co-op was doing, we were doing pretty well. Not, it was always a struggle to raise money and do programs, but we were building knowledge and a reputation and educating people and doing research. So we came here and started this program for women in politics, and it was not a subject that existed as a subject. Um, we were scorned by the political scientists in the political science department at the time. There was a team of political scientists who were assigned uh, to do a review of Eagleton, national review, came around to my office and said, well, when you finish counting how many women there are in the country, what else would there be to do? There wouldn't be anything to do about women, anything else to do about women in politics. So it wasn't taken seriously as an academic subject. That was much more within the intellectual and the scholarly uh, context of people who studied politics, right? Struggling through some of those kinds of differences, it was time to be thinking about, you know, new ideas, new directions. And I did not want this to be seen as Ruth Mandel's project. I wanted it to be an institution. I wanted it to be institutionalized. I mean, it is a success story. It's terrific. And it did. I don't know what the moment was, but it did get to a point that it, nobody makes fun of it anymore or thinks, you know, what are you doing or why is it worth it? Now, also, the world outside really collaborated with us on that because women have been moving forward in political life. Thank you.